What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Kind of Punch Boxing News. And I got some new news concerning Luis King Kong Ortiz. You know, first, let me break this down. Um, let me talk about this topic here concerning uh, Ortiz and the Dillian White situation. You know, is Luis King Kong Ortiz's trainer uh, said, and also um, Juan Jimenez, which is his manager, said that there was no contract sent over to fight Dillian White, you know, you know, cause he, he rebuttaled and he said there was nothing sent over. However, that's typical. You know, we know that, um, because Eddie Hearn, he didn't want that fight. He wanted the Chisora to fight, which the Chisora and White fight, you know, is look like it's going to be a good fight, a domestic, you know, rivalry, um, you know, a rematch. And, you know, we'll see, may the best man win. But, you know, I feel that White should eventually fight Ortiz because it's one thing to cut, like to throw insults out there and, oh, he's 49 years old. Oh, he's that old man. That's one thing. That's cool and all that. That's, you know, that's trash talk. That's build up. But it has to build up to something. You know what I mean? It has to be it has to mean something. It has to mean like, OK, you're saying this about this guy. Well, fight this guy. You know what I mean? What is the build up? You know, what is it building up to? Are you guys eventually going to fight? Because you hear that a lot. You hear that old man getting thrown around. You know, by more than it's just Dillian White, but, you know, a fight between Dillian White and Ortiz uh, would be a great fight. You know what I mean? Like a diehard fan fight. You know, people know Ortiz. People avoided Ortiz for a reason. And you can say what you want to about Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder was the only one, like Ortiz said, that had the balls to give him a shot to fight him. You know what I mean? And look where he is today. That, along with the, the Anthony Joshua negotiations, look what he's done. Now he's on his fav, f first pay-per-view. So Ortiz meant something. People say, well, he's he hasn't fought anyone. Who has Ortiz fought? Okay, who else has wanted to fight Ortiz? Yeah, he's avoided, but there's a reason why he's avoided, obviously. You know what I mean? If he was that easy, if he was that old, people would have fought Ortiz years ago. And I don't want to hear the two years all oh, Dillian White called him out because where was Dillian White? Where was Dillian White at that time? Two years ago. You know what I mean? He was coming off a fresh knockout by Anthony Joshua. So no, he didn't have the clout that he has now. So obviously, yes, he wants to fight him now. That would be a, a good fight because both of these guys have fought champions. Both of those guys have got beaten by champions. You know what I mean? And Deontay Wilder, the one thing he does have, he has that win over Ortiz. He does. We haven't seen the Fury fight, of course, but he does have that win. He did fight that guy that no one else fought. You know what I mean? So that choice to fight Ortiz or if the, you know, if, if, if the WBC made him fight him, okay, wonderful. All right. You know what I mean? He still fought him regardless if he really wanted to or not. Now at this point, it doesn't matter if he wanted to or not because he fought that guy. He fought that guy and that's what it is. You know, um, he got that win. It was a crazy, uh, back and forth fight. You know what I mean? And I think now, um, Dillian White de depends on what he does with Chisora. Chisora might beat him. Now, the question is, will Chisora fight him? You know what I'm saying? With Chisora, Chisora, if he wins and beats Dillian White, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people thought Chisora uh, beat Dillian White in the, in the first fight, right? Because it was a close fight. These guys went back and forth. I seen those exchanges, man. Those, those were some brutal exchanges by two big dudes welling on each other. You know what I mean? Going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blow for blow. It was a very dynamic fight, you know, and I had to look at that fight and watch that fight, you know, to respect it. You know what I mean? So, you know, so all the UK fans, yeah, I get it now. I get this fight is going to be a good fight. You know what I mean? Or let's hope this is going to be a good fight because the first one was. That was like Ikebarabuchi and Tua. Well, not that that intense, but, you know, it was a back and forth fight, right? So, but the winner, ha it has to be a winner unless it's a draw. You know what I mean? But, uh... The, these guys or whoever has to fight Ortiz. Ortiz needs that since he's at a level because he's peaked into a level of uh, and, and he merits a certain standard, right? His standard of fighters now can't be what 
they've been. You know what I mean? If Luis Ortiz is going to stay relevant, you know, in the sport, okay? They can't be that way, all right? Um, I don't want him to do what Iris Landy Lara did. You know, he fought a bunch of people. Yeah, he got paid. He made, you know, from the Canelo fight and stuff like that. But I don't want another Cuban fighter to fight that one fight and then either almost win or come close, but not really. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and then they fight four guys that who the hell is this dude? You know what I mean? And then by the time it's a time to get back in the saddle, you fought this weaker opposition, this, this weaker, um, these weaker opponents. And then there's no, you know, you don't have anything to prepare you for, you know, these guys, you know, then you get it, you get thrown in there with a tough guy, you know what I mean? And then it's like, okay, you know, but who have you fought, you know? So we don't, you know, we don't want that for Ortiz, you know, he, if he's that old and then even, even if he's 39, okay. Cause he said he's 39. He addressed his age too. He says, I'm 39 years old, whatever you guys can believe it or not. However, you know, there has been guys that done, you know, for, you know, further things in the sport of boxing, especially in the heavyweight division. We got the oldest heavyweight champ in the world, and that's George Foreman, 45 years old, eight months. OK, he was almost 46 years old when he knocked out Michael Moore. OK, so it's not impossible. You know what I mean? So, I mean, but even at 39. He still has to to keep himself consistent now I respect the Kajano fight or whatever and he's fighting this other dude Kaufman but I think he needs to get in there with someone that wants to fight him but people have to have the balls to want to fight him so to all you heavyweights that want a name you know you just can't don't leave Wilder by himself everyone says well when they beat Ortiz that'll show that Wilder's victory is not that that credible okay fine fight the guy then right fight him if he's that easy. And that's it. I'm done. You guys tell me what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.